Well, uh, hello there, and welcome back to whatever this video thing is. Hopefully you're having a good day. Hopefully you're finally out of school, if you weren't already out of school the last time that I'd, I'd mentioned it. Well, at least in the U.S., I guess there are some folks in the U.K. who have a school schedule that keeps them in school until July, and then they kind of get back in the same time, that, like August or something like that. If you're in that boat, I send my condolences. Um, I hope you make it out alive safely and very very soon but for everyone who is on their vacation hopefully you're having a good one and hopefully you have cool stuff planned and things so this past week was e3 week you may have noticed not many streams approximately zero streams happened this last week because uh with it being e3 and the server having been kind of wonky we were just like hey most people aren't going to be around this week and i'm talking about my night here i should mention most people aren't going to be around this week so why don't we sort of take it as an opportunity to maybe uh get the server up to speed again hopefully get it working properly so deck and all the other folks were uh, were working hard this past week um trying to get it operating smoothly and we should be good to go today so my night will be returning in and approximately two hours after this video goes up at the usual time, 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. UK time, and you can try to extrapolate all the other time zones from that. But uh, hopefully we should be starting to see some interesting things this week as we work our way towards the finale. So, you know, if you want to jump back into the Mayanite streams and stuff, um, it'll be starting back up today and should be good because hopefully, hopefully, I'm not saying hopefully it'll end soon, but I'm hoping that however the remainder of the series works out, um, it doesn't get too impacted by my going to, to Minecon. Um, I leave on July 2nd, so we'll see how that goes. July 2nd to the 8th. Don't worry, videos will be going up as usual while I'm gone, but obviously I'm not gonna be able to stream while I'm traveling in another country and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, anyway, let's focus on the here and then now, my night is happening this week. Should be every day unless something comes up. Um, but of course, I'll, I'll let you know. But that's the plan as of now. So yeah, cool stuff. And then obviously video is going back up on the second channel right after the stream happens. So that <laughs> second channel has been a little bit barren this past week because of course, without live streams, there aren't videos for that channel and stuff. So I do apologize for, for having been busy with E3 and stuff, but E3 was pretty cool. I don't know how many of you watched the press conferences, the announcements for that, but I got to see a few cool things. A lot of them were centralized at the Microsoft booth, and this is not sponsored. Microsoft booth just happened to have some cool stuff like a 4GT, and I wanted to lick it. Oh my god, it's so nice. I really want one so badly. I just, I have to, like my life will not be complete unless I get the Ford GT. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And I got I got to technically drive it in the racing simulator thing at the Forza setup that they had in the Microsoft booth. So I guess that's sort of second best for now because it doesn't hit production until, well, at least get released onto the roads until fall of like 2016. So that's far away. And I really want one. Can you tell that I want one? I like cars. I don't want one. Okay. Anyway, but that that was one of the things. I did get to try the HoloLens. So HoloLens, if you didn't see any of the press conference stuff about it, it's Microsoft's augmented reality device thing. Think of it kind of like an Oculus Rift, except that the lenses are transparent so you see what's in front of you, like you have sunglasses on, except really big sunglasses with a whole headset thing. Uh, except then it, it superimposes virtual stuff on top and it's pretty magnificent. It's pretty magnificent. I'm always a little bit skeptical when it comes to VR stuff and, and things when I just see it in videos and whatnot. I'm like, ah, oh, that must be a little bit exaggerated. Let's be realistic here. Then you put it on though. The way they had it set up was this closed off space, all Halo 5 themed, and you put on the device and it would set like a waypoint, like, hey, walk over here. Then the next waypoint would be, hey, walk over here, and you enter this conference room area. And then you're at this table. Think of it like some sort of holographic projector table that you would see in, I don't know, Star Wars, Star Trek, or something like that. Probably an incorrect reference. I don't know if they ever had holographic projector tables because my memory is vague. But anyway, uh, so in the center of this, this table, they had this hexagonal 
pop-up that um, appeared when you were looking through the, the HoloLens, and it gave you this overview of the whole Halo 5 game mode that you were going to play after, after you got out of that room. And, I mean, it was... You, it's really hard to describe, and the thing that's a bummer is that, well, we weren't allowed to film in there, but even if we were, you can't really film it because, whoa, cool, look at these people looking at a blank table. You need, like, a HoloLens attachment for the camera you'd be using. Anyway, but still, I'm trying to describe it. Just, it was cool. It was really cool, and I just, I'm like, I don't even care about video games right now. I just want to see this in a, in a laser tag arena. I want to, I don't know, be ha have, like, a laser tag gun and be going through this place where freaking monsters are popping out of corners and shooting them and stuff, and oh my god, it's amazing. I just, I want this to to just become a thing that you can do i don't know i was like oh my god how how is this actually happening this is the future but it's it's now and it's it's gnarly it really is so there's some exciting stuff happening in the world of like games and and technology and uh, probably within like the next five years or so I'd have to imagine this will all be consumer products and I can I can only imagine kids being born right now just like oh yeah well I mean you guys never had HoloLens grown up and stuff like what or they're gonna be it's gonna be a by by I don't know 20 years from now it's just gonna be a little chip you have implanted into your brain or something that superimposes augmented reality just onto your eyes so, that's a scary thought to think about. Who knows when that'll happen, but yeah. Oh boy. Um, it is it is crazy. And then, in the way of like actual games, I didn't get to play too many because lines are, are pretty long. Um, they can be like an hour to two hours, and uh, I am not much of a, uh, a person who likes to wait in lines for things. Um, so, anyway. But I thought that I thought that the Hololens thing was like, dang. I'm hoping when I go to Minecon there will be like some more stuff that we're able to do, maybe Minecrafty with it. Again, the bummer is can't really film it because unless you have the attachment for a camera, it just looks like you're looking at blank things. Um, yeah, look at this fascinating blank table. It's amazing. Um, we'll see. Maybe maybe sometime we'll get provided with a Hololens attachment for a camera. That would be pretty cool. Well. Anyway, so it was it was awesome going to going to E3 and seeing all of the technology stuffs and things. And um, also, when I was at E3, had some meetings with folks about like Fortress Fury related things and stuff. And now it's actually kind of kind of crazy. We're we're bringing all the development to for Fortress Fury in house. Um, previously, we were working with an outside development company, and now that the game is out and their obligation is completed, we're basically going to be like hiring a team and stuff in-house, and myself and my partner are essentially going to be running a game developer slash publisher type thing, with, with Fortress Fury being obviously our, our first title. So that's kind of nifty and crazy and stuff, like yeah running a company and things like that. So that's going on. Um, <laughs> so yeah, man, lots of stuff going down. But uh, yeah, I guess most importantly, my night will return this week and um, I'm still gonna be posting the edited VODs here on this channel as I mentioned previously. And then um, after this season is over, then we'll probably be moving over to just the, the second channel thing. And um, I think that once the season ends as well, um, I am gonna, I have an idea that I'm probably gonna do a series called Sky Factory. It's like this whole modded Skyblock kind of thing as a new live stream series. So it'll just be a live stream series and then the VODs will go up on the second channel after that. So, cause I think from what I gather, it's more of like a grindy thing that lends itself a little bit better to live streams than it does um, like YouTube vlogs. Uh, so I think we'll be doing that. So I'll let you know more about it uh, when we get closer to like the finale of Maya Night and that thing starting up. But that's sort of my plan. And then I really, really do want to get like something comparable to Ultra Modded Survival going uh, here on the main channel as well over the summer. So um, I've been like trying to think of thing mods to put in and I'm, I'm like debating do I want to do I want to do like or spawn again and try to figure out how to make it different like some sort of setup that's actually pretty similar to what Ultra Modded Survival had. 
or do I want to go? I, I don't know. That's my dilemma because ultra modded survival was pretty cool, but I don't know if I go with similar mods again if it's going to be too redundant, but I don't know, man. I would like some big adventure type mod with lots of bosses and that sort of stuff, but I don't know. We'll see. We shall figure this out and figure out what's going to make for like the best videos and stuff. So. Anyway, man, I think that's about it for now. Lots of updates and stuff, because it's been a little while since I've chatted. Like, over a whole week, and yeah. So, man. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna wind it down for now. This was a long vlog. Hopefully, you're still here. And thank you, Alarm on Phone. <laughs> All right, well, I guess on that note, I'll see you next time. <laughs>